Hey everyone, Rick here. I got a couple packages in the mail and I thought I would unbox them and take a look at what you too could receive if you decide to purchase these products from GameMat.com. EU. Now, they're located in the Czech Republic. I ended up getting a couple of their factory wall set and one 4x4 Chemzone game mat. So, I'll be right back. I'll unbox this stuff and we'll take a look together. Okay, folks, and we are back. This is the 4x4 Chemzone game mat from GameMat.eu. So hopefully I'll be able to get some shots in without all this blinding glare because the detail on these mats is incredible. Now this Chemzone mat struck me because of how cool the kind of the OSL is honestly. You can kind of see it. Um, some of the glowing green comes across there so it's Pretty neat how they were able to accomplish that. Now with these mats, your typical gaming mats, it's pretty much standard these days. It is this neoprene, you know, mouse pad material. So that's going to be a, that is not going to go anywhere, at least on, you know, a, a tabletop like that. So my table that I typically game on here is just under 6x4, so... Just under four feet wide means that this 4x4 four four mat is going to kind of uh, drape over either side a little bit, but I just think that it ends up being fantastic. I went with a 4x4 four four because they did not have this in a 3x3. Three three. Otherwise, I would have gotten that. A lot of my more skirmish games, some sci-fi skirmish games I play would be on a 3x3, three three, but this was the smallest they had uh, within the confines of a dimension that I would could potentially use. So... This is the mat itself, but I also wanted to show that a lot of these mats, I don't know if there are any, well, there could be some manufacturers of these kind of game mats that don't include a bag, but most of them do. So this is just your standard roll up the mat and stick it in the bag kind of bag. It'll have a couple handles there. One thing unique about these bags I haven't seen before is that there's also kind of a little... Uh, strap on that side and one on that side as well. Actually, you know what? Just looking at it, my table war mats, if you saw that video I just posted, also have those on the end. So that may be standard with these kind of bags as well. The one thing that this bag does not have, however, is any kind of identification tag. Just as an example, some of these other mats are going to come with tags. You can put your name on there and stuff. This one did not, but it's still nice to just have the bag itself. That is the 4x4 Chemzone mat. Very nice. Again, smooth surface. A lot of detail on there. Love the sci-fi look to that. But honestly, I'm even more excited about these factory walls. So I got two sets of those. Let's take a look. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, here we have the contents of one factory wall set. So there are 40 pieces in these. They come packaged really nicely. They have, it's double stacked with these foam trays, and then there's just a single foam lid that folds over the top of everything. And then each individual piece is baggied in just a clear plastic bag. So that's pretty nice. So the... I guess the paint job doesn't rub up against the styrofoam during shipping, but the main thing here guys is the paint job on these these just look fantastic so this is the chem zone factory wall set so you have the kind of rusty bulkhead look i mean they're done across the top as well there's some kind of uh, nuts and bolts or rivets across the top there you can see uh, the texture on these is just so industrial. It is fantastic, even on the ends there. So these walls, you could have an end just bare, and it would look like it made sense. So that doesn't need an end cap or anything like that. They are done completely on all sides except the bottom. Nice smooth surface on the bottom there, so it will... Take some effort if you actually wanted to knock it over. 
Otherwise, the heft, these are solid. So you probably couldn't blow this over unless you really tried. Otherwise, it'll take some effort to get that to be knocked out of place. So there's multiple different kinds. And don't worry, in just a moment, after I pull out a couple of these, I will pause again and get all of these on the table so you can see what one entire set makes and then yes a second set what that looks like okay so i believe these are the three different kinds of components you have a double wall you have a single wall and you have this kind of corner piece or, you know, kind of a cross section piece that would be perfect if you wanted to line it up and start going out. And so kind of intersecting wall piece. But my gosh, guys, does that not look fantastic already on that mat? That just looks so perfect. Now, I even thought, even though this is their Chemzone factory wall set from GameMat.eu, I could easily see this being even in a fantasy setting, kind of maybe a dwarven mine or a dwarven city underground in a mountain somewhere that definitely looks like it could double as a dwarven fantasy setting as well. So sci-fi fantasy, this actually looks pretty good either way. So 40 pieces in a single set, you're going to get a lot of the uh, cross-section pieces, single walls, double walls, two foam trays full of that stuff. Give me just a second. I'll be right back with an example, one set layout in just a moment. All right, folks, this is what one 40-piece set could make. I mean, the possibilities, configurations are endless, but that kind of gives you an idea of how much of a 4x4 four four mat one set could make. And I kind of densely packed this also. You could, in your setup, make it as open or condensed as you'd like. So if you spread this out a little bit more, you could fill up an even larger chunk. <clears throat> and uh, just to go over some stats with you about if you're ever interested in ordering one of these sets yourself, because this is, again, from GameMat.eu. It is the 4x4 Chemzone Battle Mat. The battle mat was $49 US. GameMat.eu is located in the Czech Republic. Each Chemzone factory wall system set is $138 US. Now... Uh, shipping to the U.S. was $87. Now, I bought it on August 13th. It arrived on August 23rd. It required a signature. I can't remember if that was something I added as an option to my shipping uh, choice or if that just came by default, but that was something that uh, was required was a signature upon receiving it. So about 10 days from the Czech Republic to the U.S., not terrible. Now, the shipping, of course, being 87 bucks is some a pill that might be a little hard to swallow, but for what you get, I mean, two factory wall sets and a mat, not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. So for two sets and the mat, it was $412.00 total including shipping so that is just a little uh, info about the ordering process give me one more moment i will unbox the second wall system see if we can't fit this all in one mat i'll be right back Hey everyone, and welcome back. First, I gotta say, nine minutes into this video, I have to admit a mistake. These individual factory walls chemzone sets are not 40 pieces each, they are 60 pieces each. So, total with two sets combined is gonna be 120 pieces. So, here is two complete sets, fully unboxed, fully laid out on the table, this is going to easily cover a 4x4 four four table, and again, I really condensed it down here. I put an outer perimeter wall around the whole thing, which is totally unnecessary, so if you don't do that, 
and spread things out, this is, two sets is more than enough for a full six by four foot table at least. But this is just an example. If you did want an outer wall, you wanted some kind of condensed interior uh, walls and things set up like that, this is what an example of what it may look like. It's just an unbelievable amount of versatility. Again, all these pieces fully pre-painted right out of the box, which is just fantastic. If that will focus for me there. Every piece looks industrial, rugged. It is just awesome. Easy to set up, easy to take down. My only question now is storage. So you could put this stuff back in the styrofoam trays. And I had considered that, but honestly, if I do that, getting those pieces in and out of the trays every time is a hassle. More than that, though, and I keep picking off little pieces of styrofoam that are still on you know, the walls themselves. So putting them in and out of those styrofoam trays is going to create lots of little styrofoam bits that you're going to have to deal with all the time. If that's not a problem for you, go right ahead. But Gosh, I just can't stand it. So I'm going to find another way to store these. These are super durable pieces. So rubbing up against each other, I don't think is going to be that big of an issue. So I may do just some plastic tubs. These figures in here are 25, 28 millimeter sci-fi figures from the Ion Age game. I believe it's called from Alternative Armies, but I just put those in here for scale purposes to show how absolutely perfect these walls look with just typical 25, 28 millimeter sci-fi figs. See this maze configuration, just a firefight in here, skirmish games, whatever you would want. This is absolutely perfect, folks. I love this. I want to get out of this. I want to quit this video. I want to sit down and I want to keep playing around with this stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.